G'day, Uncle Jojo, great to see you all again. I've been asked a question by Smitty. G'day, Smitty. Smitty's asked me about shower grates, shower systems, um, cutting floor systems for showers and screens. Well, you asked me about the video of the bathroom with the skylight, Smitty. So here I am again, and we've, had the, we've got the walk-in shower in this area. Originally, when this was done, it only had a single pane of glass here and a single pane of glass here. There was no door on it. This door is actually an afterthought, and we put this on because the water was going everywhere. The other thing we had was this floor system. Just have a look down here. This floor system down here, we've graded here to the Australian standards, but we really need to take into consideration over and beyond the standards. Wear and tear water getting into this area, obviously being a shower and wear and tear, sometimes can soften the grout or can loosen a bit of the tiling, especially because we've got waterproofing underneath and things can react. It's super important that we go over these as often as we can and just do a little bit of maintenance on them. You do maintenance on your car, you need to do maintenance on your house. You have to do maintenance on your shower base if you have a cut-in system. I do like a cut-in system or a floor graded system, but we never put a single puddle flange in the middle. We actually do a shower grate system along the back. There's my shower grate system along the back. It ensures that any water that comes in this area has a full wall to wall system to take up any of that water. There's no overflow. If any hair gets caught in it or anything gets stuck into the drain, it won't backfill. There's a whole great system that has to fill first. The other thing that I oh, actually, um, Smitty, there's also a video that I've done of an apartment in the city. Um, we were called in to have a look at that. That was actually puddling. Again, it was a designer shower that had a fixed pane of glass and it was open on both sides. Seen them, done them, they're great. But again, you need to make sure that the system that you do and the gradius that you have on your floor is above what you are recommended. And what that will ensure is that all of the water that falls will go straight into that great system. Hope that's helped you out, Smitty. If you've got any questions or queries about that, flick it over and I'll answer them for you the best I can. Otherwise, everybody else out there, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay awesome.